Now the scripture says the devil would be given power. Allow me to uh, explain why. Anybody else? Pin drop. Okay. Well, ultimately, the trap will always lead to repentance. So I see this as a good thing. And I apologize if my chagrin, candor, and uh, calmness seems uncaring. I can assure you it is not, but necessary. If someone does not believe because they continually see results, then they are being led away from my kids, my bride, my people. Very important to me, love them very much. <clears throat> Everybody love me too. We love you, Lord, okay. Like I would force it. So since they were deceived, it... what does that tell you? God is always in control. <clears throat> power, that's a little different. I wouldn't call that power. But it's the closest thing that people could understand in the scripture. Put simply, now I'm not going to let any false prophet find out that they were Correct. I'm not going to let anyone following a false prophet think that false prophet was correct. I have never been wrong. And what this is going to do is completely destroy the confidence in anyone but Jesus Christ, the true Holy Spirit, and the Scripture. And then the ones that were underneath the foot of their own ego, arrogance, despite the many people I sent into their life to say no, they will realize they have much to learn. They will start at the beginning like everyone else. Because you need to know who you can trust. So you need to have indicators of someone that is one of my prophets. Now for a long time, I have allowed people to be maneuvered in and out of people's lives based on whatever they were willing to believe. With one common goal, <clears throat> keep my people safe. And with like-minded, like-spirited, People. That way the fights don't happen and there's no uh, divided kingdom here. That's the kingdom people should have been concerned with. <clears throat> so the way you'll be able to tell one of my prophets, they will use the name Jesus. Understanding people rise and fall. And some people want to believe something too soon before they get their confirmation. I will not allow it to come true unless you receive your confirmation. 
Now, once you have received your confirmation, each person gets their confirmation differently. Do I utilize numbers? Absolutely. Everybody has their own way of communicating with me based on their location, what they're familiar with. I'm using people you guys would not dream of right now. I am super, and I never use that term, happy. I'm sure someone will say that's an evil word. That's what God wanted me to say. For a reason. It proves my point. I cannot be false. I am not afraid of being false. I have a fear of God. And that is something my prophets have as well. Hmm. I have my prophets and they do utilize secular things. That is where the world is. Also, it expresses an idea. They mix it with scripture. I am over the moon with that. Most importantly, those that have the Holy Spirit, it resonates with them. And it's specific. It will. Quick story. I was in a uh, situation. And a dog started barking at me. For no reason at all. This is back when I had a strong grr. Say that three times. Grr. Grr. I'm supposed to say that. And this is what pastors did. And that pastor started talking about a dog barking. So the dog is not barking at you. Connected to me right away. That is what happened to me. So when you're receiving your word and you've prayed on it to Jesus, I will not let you be deceived. And this is all scripture. This is how you test a prophet. It says, if what they say comes true, it is a true prophet. If it does not, I love you.